case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1980, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit addressed an important question in International Order of Jobs Daughters v. Lindeberg and Co. Can a company benefit from a market or trend created by another company, as long as it does not confuse the public into buying their product under the belief that it is the competitor's product? The case began when Lindeberg and Co., a jewelry manufacturer, was sued by the International Order of the Daughters of Job for using their name and emblem on their jewelry. Despite having been denied the designation of official jeweler, Lindeberg continued to use the Job's daughter's insignia. In 1975, the organization filed a lawsuit against Lindeberg for trademark infringement. Although the district court initially ruled in their favor, Lindeberg appealed the decision, which was eventually reversed and remanded due to confusion about which law applied. The key issue in the case was whether Lindeberg's use of Job's daughter's name and emblem would mislead the public about the origin of the jewelry. Ultimately, the Court of Appeals found that there was no trademark infringement, ruling in favor of Lindeberg. The court emphasized that names or emblems can serve as both functional components and trademarks, and concluded that Lindeberg did not use Job's daughter's name and emblem as trademarks. Additionally, the organization did not provide sufficient evidence that typical buyers would assume their endorsement of the product. This case emphasizes the idea that companies are allowed to benefit from the markets or trends created by others as long as they don't deceive consumers into thinking their product is affiliated with another organization. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.